Welcome to our weekly reflections on the Psalms. Today we'll reflect on Psalm 130 with the theme Prayer Networks for Penitents. The journey of the pilgrims was filled with various experiences, but the one thing they did was to network in prayer as a community. The Psalmist is an effective networker for prayer and provides a glimpse of stories of faith and history. he told in the season of lent the cry of the psalmist is a cry for penitence the first verse begins with a powerful metaphor depths out of the depths i cry to you o lord depths is a metaphor that illustrates the innermost or the deepest desires or emotions of a person it provides leads to the nuanced meaning of penitence repentance anguish self reproach the term depths a metaphor is an abbreviation of the expression the depths of the sea like we see in isaiah 51:10 and ezekiel 27:34 it represents drowning in distress being overwhelmed and sucked down by the bottomless waters of troubles The psalm was well received by the Protestant reformers because it echoed the core values of the reformation repentance justification grace forgiveness and hope Martin Luther's hymn translated by Catherine Winkworth Out of the depths I cry to thee has interpreted the psalm in terms of the faith and hope of the believer It came to be known as the profundis the opening words of its latin version the title pointed to its usefulness for all who found themselves in the depths of existence this psalm is one of the seven penitential psalms that we use in the services and disciplines of repentance we are probably familiar with the illustration of john 3:16 to share god's love the breadth God so loved the world the length that he gave his only begotten son the depth that whosoever believeth on him shall not perish the height but shall have everlasting life lent is a season where we find expressions of several symbolic acts and acts leading us to give up the psalmist is encouraging the pilgrims to understand penitence as indicated in verses 5 and 6 to wait for the lord and hope while outward symbols are important innermost convictions and commitments are what is desired in a world where material culture is taking over our lives it is the hope of redemption that god will redeem us from all iniquities as promised to israel our prayers for penitents are to see ourselves as forgiven people and that we experience god's presence because of god's mercy let us pray gracious god we pray that you would be gracious to us and bless us as we praise you we thank you because you judge the peoples with equity and guide the nations upon the earth we pray that our time and networks for penitents will help us to live lives of forgiveness and reconciliation for we pray in the name of the one who is the way the truth and the life jesus christ our lord amen god bless you